Good morning, guys. It's been a rough start to the day. <sighs> but here we are. Have to push through, right? So, I'm on my treadmill. Gonna get going with that. It's really hot out, so I figured I would go and get my walk in on the treadmill. I'm gonna try and do a couple miles, actually. Um, in the past, like if you followed my my MS story, I've had trouble with fitness, getting back into it after I had that relapse two years ago. So I'm gonna get moving, get some fitness in, get my steps in. Um, I have got a cup of coffee over here that I'm kind of working on and I'm just gonna zone out, watch some YouTube and all that stuff, so. All right, we'll see you a little bit later. All right guys, well, I didn't quite make three miles, but I did make it a mile and a half. <laughs> Baby steps, right? All right, so I was on there for a half hour. Oh, average pace was a 20 minute mile, not the best, but the point is that I'm just putting the effort in and doing the work, so yay. I definitely think like when you're on a journey of change, like whether it's weight loss or mental health or positivity, Whatever it is that you're trying to modify in your life is to give yourself a whole lot of grace. Um, and all your goals, you're able, <laughs> all your goals are attainable and it's just building up and working toward them and achieving them as best you can and with whatever time frame that is. So whether you set those time frames or you just allow yourself even more grace to just figure it out a bit more naturally so all right definitely making the fat scream as it melts away <laughs> I'm gonna go take a cold shower and then I'm taking my kiddos to the store so we'll see how that goes all right guys we'll see you in a bit hey friends okay we're back we went to a Walmart quick you know typical things right my boys needed new rash guards for swimming and you know, we are fairest of the fairest of the fair with our skin. So they really, really needed something like we needed to up the ante. It was crazy. We almost need to like start applying sunscreen a week before we decided to go out of the house. Joking. <laughs> so, and I bought myself a new shirt. This is not it, but I did buy myself a new shirt and I think I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow. It's like an aqua teal color, my favorite color and in a tank top. And it's kind of, I'm kind of getting to that point in my journey too where I'm starting to need to buy new clothes. So that's super exciting. So anyway, um, I'm about to break my fast and I've got my meal prepared. So I'm gonna show you what it's looking like. Let's see, but I've got leftover Philly cheesesteak uh, bake there and some leftover eggs from this morning, what I made for my family, because extra protein and good fats and good cholesterol. And then of course there were some extra peppers and onions on the side for the, the bake there. And then I'm following Jess's guidelines. I made a protein coffee. So it's got one cup of uh, decaf coffee and um, a serving of vanilla protein powder. And then I got some chocolate stevia drops in there and some heavy whipping cream, so, and ice all blended up in amazing goodness. It's awesome, I cannot wait to eat it. Guys, it's that time, I'm taking the kids out to the pool and I'm gonna make myself a nice cold drink. So I got the sparkling water, lime watermelon, and I got, whoop, oh, focus, focus, strawberry watermelon drink. And then adding in my tropical hibiscus proteins, uh, collagen. So it's got, oh, focusing problems today. So this will give me 15, uh, 14 grams of protein. So that's gonna be really good. A little snack for the afternoon and tightening up that loose skin. Ka-chow! Tonight is the meatloaf and some um, grilled broccoli is what I'm doing tonight. I already had one actually, um, a keto um, type of meatloaf in my freezer already. So I took it out last night, thought it, and now I put it on the grill and I'm about to check it. So good. There it is guys, it has sugar-free ketchup on top. There's broccoli from the garden. Life is good. That concludes the day. I had a shower, feeling much better. 
I've got my steps in. I've got almost 10,000 steps. The day is still young, so I'm hoping to hit that. Um, feeling super, super good. So, um, dinner was bomb. Like the meatloaf. Oh my gosh. Um, so I got that one from rectech.com. It is the sriracha bourbon recipe. Um, I did adjust, make some adjustments so that it was more keto friendly. I think it does have like breadcrumbs and stuff in there. And obviously you can use ground up pork rinds or just skip it all together because it has egg in it. So yeah, no worries there. I think there's like a little spot there. Okay. Anyway, so I will leave that down in the description box below for you to, um, to check out and possibly enjoy. So, all right guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.